Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So there's a possibility my phone will die, and if it does, I will be a tad annoyed. It is 9.48 in the evening, um, but I wanted to make this really quick video for all of you. So it's kind of like a, a fitness journey update plus, um, this protein shake that I want to show you that is so delicious. I feel like since I've been back home or, or like since I have been back home, I've been taking my fitness very serious again. And, and I've always like, I've been pretty consistent with the gym since I was 16 and I'm 23 now. For the past couple of years, it was really hard just because of some emotional manipulation going on anyways i'm not in that anymore i don't have to deal with that i am doing my own thing i feel good i just posted on my instagram go follow me the other day that i have been trying for so long to hit what was it 135 on squats and i have done it before i just I would like be able to get one or hardly get the one and then not be able to get, do it again. I recently, I was like kind of making fun of myself. I was posting on my Snapchat and I was like, oh, I'm gonna try this, prepare to watch me fail. Let's all laugh together. And I did it. I got a nice parallel squat in and then I did it again. And I was just like mind blown. And I'm so proud of myself. And then the following week, Grant was with me and he was like, oh no, just like add 10 more pounds on each side to it. And I was like, mm -hmm, you're funny, but I tried it. It was 155 and I freaking got it. And that one, I feel like I could have gone a little bit lower, but I still did it without any help. And I'm proud of myself. And, um, yeah, I'm just like, wow. Like I've only been here for uh, at that point when that happened it was seven months so it's been a couple weeks since that's happened so I'm just like wow I've been trying to get that pretty consistently for four years and I've been here for seven months and look at me I used to be a super super picky protein person I I hate things protein like I do not like the the texture the flavor it's just gr like the quest bars bleh. disgusting um sorry quest and whoever likes quest I don't really care honestly but there's this one protein bar that I really like and it's not the whole thing it's this one specific protein bar with this brand and I can't I looked for it at Kroger they didn't have it um, so I got some Cliff Bars instead, um, and those are more for like my breakfast in the mornings when I'm like in a rush, so, or quick snack I guess, and they don't have as much protein as these other bars that I was wanting, but they didn't have them. I know they have them at Walmart, but I really did not want to go to Walmart. I'm going to share with you my protein shake that I have not stopped making for about a month now, and this is one of them, and then I'll have to show you the other one some other time but you will need a blender a normal size blender will work i just happen to have this cup blender i'm pretty sure they have them at walmart it's pretty cheap i think it was like 20 dollars or less so i would say and in, invest in one of these because i honestly i don't like using a full size blender just because then you got to pour it out and then you got all that residue in the blender so i like this is why i like this sweater because i just drink it straight from here so i kind of just stopped measuring stuff I eyeball it now so I'll try to give you measurements the best as best as I can so what we're going to need is some strawberries um, I do normally just use fresh strawberries but I've been buying bulk strawberries so I will cut them up and freeze them Greek yogurt of your liking I like Chobani Chobani vanilla it's my favorite. I like the vanilla flavor. Some people will use plain. That's fine too. Whatever. And then some almond milk. I also use the oat milk, which I think I have enough in here. Vanilla protein. And this, this protein does really well. I'm pretty picky with protein. It's the GNC Gold Series, 100% 
whey protein advanced. So that is, that's, that's that. It has 24 grams of protein in it. So, and then last but not least, strawberry syrup. This is what makes it. I, I love, I have a sweet tooth, so like, this is optional. If you don't have that big of a sweet tooth, don't use it. But, um, and it probably defeats the purpose of healthiness. But as uh, someone who tries to not eat bad and eat, tries to eat pretty healthy and doesn't eat a lot of sweets, this, this helps, helps for sure. Let me wash my hands. I've sat these out earlier, so hopefully they're pretty. And also part of why I don't like using frozen is because I don't like it. I just feel like it messes up the blade quicker. So I try not to put frozen in here, but. Okay, I think that's, this is about a cup of strawberries. And then I do about a cup of almond or oat milk. Use milk of your choice but typically I just cover the strawberries like that. This is empty. Um, get some protein powder. Uno scoop. One scoop of protein. And I will need protein soon. I, I posted a video of the Alani new protein not too long ago. I don't think they just, I don't think they have just plain vanilla. I know they have like birthday cake, but it has sprinkles in it. <laughs> so I don't want that. Um, so the serving size of this is three fourths of a cup. So like, I don't want to get this dirty. So like, I feel like this is about equal for, and I just do that three times. <laughs> so I'll get a tablespoon. I'll get a good amount in. Um, and also, typically I just do two, but I'll go ahead and put three. I feel like that's a lot of yogurt. You don't have to do that. I just do it to get the protein, which is 14 grams of protein for a three-fourths of a cup. And then this is cup is just one gram. So, I mean, so 24 plus 14, we're getting 38 grams of protein in this. My favorite part. Now. We're going to talk real quick, okay? Do not judge me for about how much syrup I'm about to put in this, okay? Like I said, this is optional. To me, it just makes it, it hits that sweet tooth perfectly. Um, it's like a dessert. It's like a milkshake, okay? It's like a, you know, like strawberry milk. It's like that, but strawberry milkshake, okay? And I just like give it a good layer, okay? A good layer. Don't judge me. <laughs> Okay. And then, okay. Yogurt's everywhere. I blend it. <laughs> so I gotta do that a few times so it gets the size. And I know you're thinking, Casey, just open the lid. I promise you. You don't want that. Honest, honestly, you might want me to do that just so to see me like get this everywhere because that's ex exactly what will happen. Um, it is past this lid when I blend it, so when I open it, it just it dumps out. I have I've learned. Okay, I've done it way too many times than I would like to admit. But so I'm just gonna do this a few more times to try and get this blended. Straw. Mm. so good I really like having these in the morning sometimes honestly I don't wake up early enough to make these even though it's super quick it took me under like five minutes to make this thing I don't put ice in it or anything normally just because I drink it that fast I just slurp it down and it's pretty cold especially when the strawberries are already frozen so 
ice is optional like i said i don't like putting frozen things in here and blending it up because i don't want the blade to get worn down faster i suggest you try it it's so good and, and like i said i used to be so picky with my protein i don't know maybe it has something to do with the protein powder too maybe it just like is really good and blends well and it doesn't have like a protein taste to it maybe i'm not sure anyways um thank you all for watching hope you enjoyed this please try this if you like if you're like a picky protein person and if you like strawberry milkshakes and strawberry milk or whatever just like try it let me know how it goes you won't regret it okay <laughs> so i hope all of you are having a wonderful um week it is currently monday so i will see y'all later bye